Good day, Ken Lasserson here. I'm going to take you through a new feature just added, which is the ability to look at your historical firmicutes, bacteroidoids, excuse my pronunciation, ratio. Um, as you can see, we, have, we are on the compare screen. You need to have uploaded at least two samples in order to find this feature. And why do you need two samples? It's over time. One sample doesn't give you much, and one sample value by itself does not give you much. So if you go here and you click, whoops, uh, we will get a message saying that you need two samples or more selected. So I will go back and correct that. I will select all of them. And we'll proceed. We now have the ratio showing there, and you can see how things change from middle typical to very high to suddenly plumbing down low, low comes back up to about middle range, heading back down. So it bounces around a lot. Now I've done a post about this ratio before, and you can see it by just clicking here. The post starts by simply showing you what bacteria goes into various groups. And um, so it's a classification. It's a very high level of, of comparison. Some things are not included. For example, bifidum and E. coli are not in either of the two. So if a higher low of those they won't show up in the ratio. And the ratio can increase either by having too little of one, too much of the other, or they both increase or decrease at the different rates. Again, remember, we're not taking all the bacteria, only two subsets of it. Okay, and what we have next is a listing of characteristics which have been reported in the literature, as in, Lower ratio happens with aging, with Crohn's disease, with celiac disease. Higher ratio occurs with autism, chronic fatigue, Gulf War, etc. So these are reported from the literature. I tend not to use this ratio apart from, from it as an indicator of change over time because it is at such a high level that you basically can't see the trees because you just have this big green spot on the map and you have no details as to what is going on. So use it with caution. It is useful if you are wanting to go and take a look at how things change over time. But apart from that, it should not, the associations reported, I tend to put very low value on them for their reliability. They are vaguely accurate, but probably far short of the mark. So we're back to the screen, and as you can see, they're high and the lows, etc. Um, and take a look at what you were doing, see what was causing the shift. Again, very high level, use with caution, don't read too much into it.